So when I was first learning guitar, I had to figure a lot of things out for myself. And a lot of the times I just sort of had to make things up because we didn't have the internet back then. And it was kind of interesting because it resulted in some unorthodox methods and techniques. And even after I got educated on guitar, I still held on to some of those weird quirks when it came to technique. And I think that's what makes each of us individual players when we have little things that only we do. Well, something had to be developed recently out of desperation because uh, we had played a three hour show. It was a cover band show, a tribute band show. And we're on the third set and my hand was just fried. I was just overplaying that night. I just wasn't feeling like my hand was up for uh, playing very much shredding. But there's a part where I had to do a lot of trills in a row. And what I realized was my hand was so fatigued, it was almost like it was about to cramp every time I did hammer-ons and pull-offs for an extended amount of time. And it freaked me out because I knew these trills were coming up. So just, I don't know where that came from, but I just decided to, instead of just doing two finger trills like this, I decided to start adding a third finger to the mix. And what resulted was kind of interesting because I was able to do the trills for a long period of time with way less stress, way less fatigue, and I got through it without my hand falling apart. I think I may have gotten the idea from piano players when they do really fast tremolo on one key and they use four fingers. It's just like they're rolling their fingers in a really cool way. So I thought, well, why not instead of always just using, let's say my index finger and middle finger to trill for a long time, why don't I just do alternating between middle finger and ring finger? So instead of going like this, I'll, I'll start off slow. So that motion after a while gets a little bit tiring, especially if you played three hours already. So watch what happens when I alternate between my ring and my middle finger for this trill. Sounds a little bit different. It's hard to describe the different characteristic, but because you're using another finger back and forth, it doesn't sound like a regular trill. Here's a regular trill. Here's alternating. So I'm not sure how best to describe that, but I love the fact that you can save a ton of energy while producing all of those notes. Now, it's not just on consecutive frets either. You could go whole step and still get this working. Now it's kind of ironic that I'm using a gem right now because if anybody has done this in the past, I bet you it's Steve Vai. I didn't do very much, much research, but he seems like the kind of guy that would do something like this. So a quick fun little idea for you guys, uh, technique wise, if you're ever in a situation where you need to use it, uh, you might want to keep this idea in your back pocket. Practice it once in a while, try to build up stamina, and uh, you have to still get used to this feeling. It's still a little bit weird compared to just a regular trail, but uh, the benefits are worth it. So give it a shot, let me know how it goes. All right guys, see ya.